and I'm all the way out on the bar. I'm an idiot. Oh no, it's a pop on the jig. Papa no on the jig. I think it's a redfish. What's up, beach bums? It is a gorgeous day on the beach today. I'm fishing by myself, and this is probably the last opportunity that I will have to get some fish entered in the pomp stomp for the Pompano tournament that we've got going on right now. Really, I've, I've seen the leaderboard, and really to even be considered or even to try to make the leaderboard, I really need two fish in the threes. So anything outside of that really isn't gonna be worth weighing in. So hopefully we can find a big pompano. Right now we've got a high pressure system that came through just a couple of days ago. We're on a neap tide, which means there's less water movement. I fished yesterday with similar conditions and it was tough. We, we had a real hard bite, took a long time, but did catch some pompano, did catch a nice one, but it was a difficult bite. So I anticipate that being the same today. Hopefully we can find a big pompano, maybe two, that'd be fantastic. But root me on guys, maybe we can make it happen today. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. That's probably Spanish. Probably Spanish. Here, here, here. Don't cut me off. Don't cut me off. Oh no, it's a pop on the jig. Pop a no on the jig. I think it's a redfish. Oh, this is an accomplishment for me. That's the first time I've ever caught a pompano on a jig. Yes! <laughs> oh, I'm so pumped. That is awesome. I was thinking it was a Spanish, but it's a pompano. It's a little guy. He's legal. He's going to definitely be legal, but we're letting him go because we are looking for pompano for the tournament. So he's going back, but sweet. Let's get that release. See, you, dude. Can't believe that. Can't believe caught a pompano on a jig. That is exceptional. <laughs> so pumped. Oh, oh, we're hooked up. Last rod. Oh, that looks like a good fish. It's probably a pop it up. And I'm all the way out on the bar. I'm an idiot. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, it's swimming fast. Dang. Woo. Darn it. Definitely a pop. All right. We'll take it. Second landed pompano, well, if I get it in. Second pompano of the day. I think this is my fourth bite of pompano. Sweet, beautiful fish. Beautiful, we'll probably keep him. He's not gonna help my weight at all. Trying to get a big one for the pomp stomp. So I still got two more in my bag. So I'll just keep only something that's big worth weighing in after this, but at least we got some dinner. Well, if you notice that pompano that we just caught, was on this middle rod, which if you remember earlier, I talked about zone awareness and we had gotten uh, two bites on this first rod, which was my closest one in. So I moved these two in that same zone. We got a little bit of slack here. I don't think the fish is on, but get that out. But we moved these two in the same zone as that first one where we were getting the bites and we just called a pompano. So perfect example, worked out great. That's what I do when I take people out and I, you know, when I'm fishing for myself to catch these pompano, because they're usually running in a particular zone, changes from day to day, from week to week. You know, a lot of things will change what zone they're hanging in. So you kind of have to stagger your rods, find that out, and then you can move baits more concentrated in those areas and catch more of them. Let's go get that. See my rod doubled over there. Maybe he'll pop off. That's what a ray looks like. Oh, there goes another one. I saw him cruising through. What a mess. Oh my gosh. That one popped on the end. 
I hate stingrays, man. I might have just lost all my rigs. See if I can do anything about this. Popped off. Did I keep my stuff at least? Feel some weight. That's good. Wow. What a mess. Okay. I'm assessing the damage of that school of rays. I think it popped two of my lines. I think I got two rigs left. Fortunately. There are rays. I mean, just schools of them just keep cruising by these cow nose rays very disappointing it's like tangled all the way in that last line wow what the heck good gracious yeah here's a big old mess right here See how much line I can just get out of this knot. I may have to cut the knot out if I can't get it. Yep. Oh, there we go. Sweet. At least got the knot out. That's good. And there's the end. Okay. So we managed to only lose one. <laughs> good gracious. All right. This is all. This is all. This is all. all right. Think we get a pop? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, he's moving fast. Woo! Yeah, he's darting in. All the way in. All the way in. And got in that line. Woo! There it is. Wow. Man, he got tangled up in that line. Holy cow. My goodness. All right. Well, there's another pump. Well, we got, we got dinner. I think I'm gonna have to give up on the tournament. All right, this is our second pompano since I moved the rods closer in. This was on the middle rod again. I think I've only got a little bit of time left and this is gonna be my last day, uh, uh, last opportunity to enter anything in the pump stop. So I think unless I just get a big fish, <laughs> I think I'm out of this thing, but hey, it was fun uh, just adding a different element to it. But I'm going to fish a little bit longer. We'll see if we can get a big fish. But uh, I got two. I'm going to keep this one too. Uh, this one's about the same size as that last one. Probably all that's going to be hanging around here today, unless I just really look up. But at least we got dinner. At least I got some food. Oh, dang it. It's another ray. Oh, crap. Oh, this might be a pump. Right here. Oh. Where's that drag? This might be a pump right here. We had a ray on that other one. This may be a pump. What do we got? This might be a pump. Might be a good one too. I don't know if it got caught in that line right over here. Or if that's another fish. Ugh. Yeah, I got caught a lot. Dang. Whew. What a mess. What a mess. Every one of them's jacking me up like this. Well, we'll keep the limit. <laughs> That's going to be it for me today. Let me get this cleaned up. I'll get back with you. And I got to deal with this ray over here. There you go. All right. I'll get back with you. So last fish of the day right here. He's pretty small. Uh, he, he's right at 14, but he's also pretty skinny. Uh, but he's legal, so I'm going to go ahead and limit out. 
on that. I think I am uh, definitely going to be out of the pop stop for sure. But uh, hey, man, had a good time. Uh, today was a tough bite. Uh, it took a while. Um, I did locate the bite, you know, like what I did with those first couple of fish that, uh, that bit that I missed. I figured out what zone they were in. I started focusing my efforts in that area, and that's where all the fish came from here in the last 30, 45 minutes. It, it happened pretty fast once I really started focusing in on that area and stopped messing around throwing that jig on the bar. So it works, even on a tough day, even on a tough bite. Uh, you can still, still catch Pompano, caught four total today just really paying attention to what zone they're running in so guys pay attention to that zone awareness use that to your advantage i'll put a link to the uh, video that i'm talking about in the description and uh, use that so that you can catch more pompano but guys as always you stay bummy